Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to blow multiple faces on CapCut PC. So for this video, we're going to be working on this video by Edmond Dente, which is of two people working together, which is quite easy. We're first going to blow out one of the character, then we'll replicate the same process for the second character. So go ahead and import your file onto your timeline on CapCut. Once you have your file and your timeline, you can go ahead and extract the audio to avoid repetition in audio. Now to do this, right click. And you see the option to extract audio if you have audio in the file once you're done the next step is to find the starting point and the end point where you want your blow effect to be added so let's say i wanted to blow faces from this section just to this section go ahead and break your video by pressing ctrl b and then on the first clip you want to copy the clip now press ctrl c on your keyboard to copy the clip and then take this all the way to the starting point of that clip now press on ctrl v to paste the copied clip and an overlay video will be created now on the overlay video, what you want to do is go to the effects section, click on effects and wait for this to load. After loading, click on video effect to expand and then click on lens. Here you will find blow. Click on blow and drag it onto your overlay. The blow effect will be added to that clip. Now in the section where it says special effects, you can go ahead and adjust your blow effect to your taste. Once you're done, click on the video clip and not on the effect. Now at the top right corner, you see the option for mask. Click on mask and select a shape that best blows out the character or object. So for this video, I'll be using the cycle. So click on cycle and the cycle mask will be added to your video. Now drag it all the way to the face section of your character and adjust it properly fits the face section. You can also rotate while using the rotate function. If you want it to blend into the character, you can use the feather option to lighten the blow effect. Once you fitted the blow to the face, the next step is to add a keyframe. Now take this pointer all the way to the starting point and you want to adjust the mask to match up with the face. Now in this section, you will see the keyframe button. Click on this to add a keyframe and on your overlay, you will see a new keyframe has been added. Now what to do next is to use this to move around in the video and find points where there are changes in the movement of the character and adjust the blow effect to match up with the face each time it moves. Automatic keyframe will be added each time you make these changes. So I'm going to go ahead to finish masking out this face. Then we'll come back to do this next. So after adding all the keyframes, this is what our new clip looks like. And when you proceed to play the video, this is what we have after blowing out the face. Now to do this for the second character, this can be quite difficult sometimes on CapCut since there is no option for you to add more masks to a video. Go ahead and delete all clips you're working on on your timeline and leave only the clip with the overlay. Click on export at the top right corner of your screen and go ahead to export the video. Once exported, undo all changes you have made with any previously deleted clip. Delete the current clip from your timeline and import your new exported clip onto your timeline. Drag it all the way to the starting point. You now have a new clip that you can add a new mask to. After doing this, you have to repeat the same step of copying the current clip, the new clip you have created and creating an overlay. Now click on effects and click on blow. Drag down on blow and add it onto your new overlay. Adjust the intensity of your blow effect and then click on the clip. Now click on mask and then click on the circular shape. Now you'll be able to add a mask effect. Drag the mask to the face of the new character. Drag the pointer all the way to the starting point and adjust the mask effect onto the face of the new character. Now click here to add new keyframe and you need to repeat the same steps over the new character. So thank you for watching this video on how to blow multiple faces on CapCut PC. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you do find this video helpful, do make sure to like, subscribe and have the post notification turned on. I hope to see you guys in my next video.